Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to quickly and safely install a new dishwasher. And if you guys like this, be sure to like the video and subscribe down below. Nailed it! First thing to do is at the top, you'll see two screws holding these brackets together. This is what actually holds the dishwasher in place. Then underneath, we'll have a toe kick. We'll need to undo that as well. Behind this, we'll have all of our hookups. We'll have the power, water, and the drain line. So we'll be disconnecting all of those next. In order to do everything safely, I like to turn off the breaker first before I do anything. Once we know that's off, we can take off the cover plate. I like to double check one more time that the breaker's off just before I touch any wires. Once that's done, we can start taking off the wire nuts. The dishwasher I'm working with today is hardwired, but some of you will just have an outlet. Still turn off the breaker first and then unplug your dishwasher if you can reach it. The next thing to take note of are the four legs at the bottom. You can just thread these back up to the dishwasher so it's easier to pull out. Once you have at least the first two legs up, we can start to lift and slide the dishwasher out. The next thing to do is to find the water supply line that goes from the dishwasher to under your kitchen sink and turn off the small valve. I think it makes it a little easier to tilt the dishwasher to one side if you can to start disconnecting the drain line and the water line. Keep a rag on hand because some water may spill out. Here is where the water line connects to the dishwasher, and here is where the drain line connects, which in my case goes to my garbage disposal. Once you have identified where everything goes, we can start disconnecting them. Again, keep a rag or bucket on hand because some water may spill out like this. Now that everything is disconnected from the dishwasher, we can now clean up under there and bring over our new dishwasher. Your new dishwasher will come in a box similar to this. You should see a dotted line at the bottom where you can cut without damaging what's inside. Inside the dishwasher, you'll find all your parts, including the new brackets that secure the dishwasher in place, and they can be put on like this. You'll also find a new drain line and water supply line, as well as a handle if you have one. If you don't have a water supply line included with your dishwasher, I will leave a link down in the description along with other parts you might need. A couple more parts mine came with was a new plug in case your dishwasher plugs into an outlet, a plastic grommet which I will show you where it goes later in the video, a 90 degree fitting in case you need it, a hose clamp, and an elbow fitting to go from the dishwasher to the water supply line, as well as three new wire nuts. Now it's time to take off our old drain line and install a new one. In one of the parts bags, you should see a hose clamp like this. We'll need to slide this over the hose and then slide the hose onto the garbage disposal. Then take the hose clamp and clamp it over the hose where it connects to the disposal. Once you've done that, it should look something like this. Now we can go to the water line under the sink where we turned off the valve and disconnect that so we can put on the new one. Your new water line will have a rubber ring like this. Just make sure it's in there before you connect it. This will make sure there's a tight seal so you don't have any leaks. Now take your new water supply line and pass it through the same hole that the old one came out of. Now we can take our new dishwasher and start connecting our new hoses. 
I'll now install the elbow fitting adapter to the water supply line. Then install that to the dishwasher. This too will come with a rubber ring, just make sure it's in there before you install it. It's a little tight under there, but after a minute you should be able to get it. Next take your second hose clamp and install that onto the drain line. Then connect the drain line to the dishwasher like we did earlier when we connected it to the disposal. Now we can take off the toe kick in the front and start hooking up the power. I found it a little easier to extend the legs on the bottom to give myself a little more room. You'll probably have to do this anyway in order to make the dishwasher level for when we slide it back under the countertop. Now that we are inside, you can take that plastic grommet and install it in this hole so that the wires don't get cut when we're hooking everything up. Again, make sure the breaker's off and start connecting the black wire to the black, the white wire to the white, and the copper wire to the green grounding screw. Now we can slide the dishwasher back into the hole. Make sure before you slide it in that the back legs are adjusted to the height that you need because once you have the dishwasher in the way, it'll be hard to reach them. The white cotton on the outside is to help with insulation, so make sure that you push it down on the sides as you slide it into place. Now we can take those included brackets that came with the dishwasher and screw them into place. The next thing is to install our handle. You can use the included Allen wrench or a screwdriver if you have one. If your finished result looks like this, then congratulations, you nailed it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos just like this.